I don't know if you'd call this working on the Dodge or not. We're working on the air compressor that pumps up the airbags for the Dodge. I think I'm recording. Let's see. Yeah, there's my pretty face. Hey, uh, this is going to be a little quickie. I'm going to put a video together because some of these things only last a few minutes. <laughs> Hopefully. Anyway, I'm going to show you something right here uh, to deal with my air compressor and uh, the cigarette lighter. Yeah, we have a lot of jets around here. We're by the uh, Marine Base, I think it is. Anyway, uh, we're going to fix this because it keeps coming unplugged. So let me show you what we got on my air compressor. Air compressor. Can you see that? Let's see if I can see it. There you go. Yeah, it's right here. Let me get that up a little bit. All right. Now there. I had to adjust things so you could see this. Well, this is my air compressor back in here. You can see that. Just a little Harbor Freight. It's got a gauge on this side. I don't know if you can see it. Get the light there. Maybe you can, there you can see the gauge. Uh, I'm using the trouble light here so you can see things because we are in the pickup. Alrighty, so let's put that back there so you can still see. This is a problem I'm having. You see I taped it together, but it, for some reason it don't want to stay together. So if I turn on my air, which is uh, that one, nothing happens. Fuel tank comes on. That works good. That don't work good. So what we got, you can't see it. I'll show you in a minute. I'll put a picture of my switches. Switches are not working. See, that's not held together good enough. There, she's a working. All right. So what we're going to do, the tape ain't holding. Going to take the tape off. Now, a friend of mine told me that this will work, what I'm getting ready to do here. And uh, so we're going to give it a try. The tape just won't hold it in there. I don't know why. I taped it up pretty good, but you could see that if I pushed it together, you could hear the motor running. And that runs my airbags. Okay, tape's off. Now then, okay, what? And it's upside, is it upside down? No, it ain't upside down. It's right. I'm upside down. Okay, see what's happening? is this is just not holding it in there snug enough and you would think it would but it's not so what we're going to do he told me to take wire ties you've seen wire ties you know what they are so we're going to put one around here loosely it's like mailman's here and we're going to run one of these this way Gonna put two of them in there, two on each, one on each side, like so. Can you see that? Okay, now we got one there and one there. Now I'm gonna take another one and I'm gonna run it around this part. Not make sure I don't get it looped around things I don't want looped. Okay, now we're gonna take this and I'm gonna tighten this up right here, like so. Now I'm gonna go ahead and Put them on opposite sides there, if you can see that. There we go. One's on one side, one's on the other. Hold them there, and I'm going to take this, and I'm going to tighten this crap out of that thing. As tight as I can get it, okay? Now I'm going to take this piece up here, make sure them are still on the opposite sides. Yep. I'm going to take in this one up here. And I'm going to tighten it up. Okay. Then, naturally that would end up in the wrong spot. Okay, now then I'm going to take these two. The wind just picked up. Guys, you ever been in one of my videos when the wind started blowing? Never happens, does it? Jeez. Okay, I'm going to take this. I'm going to take it through here. Because this is under the seat, pain in the butt to get to. I usually just had Vicky wiggle it. Now I'm going to take this, and I'm going to take it, and I'm going to tighten it up good and tight. And that should pull this piece up into that piece, just like that. Now I'm going to take the bottom and do the same thing. Now 
Ah, this one came loose already, so tighten that up some more. Well, it's tighter now, that's for sure. Okay, then I'm gonna take this one. It's on the, put it, make sure it's on the opposite side. Don't want it, both of them pull on the same side, or it won't work. So that's the opposite side of there, and now I'm gonna take that, and I'm gonna do the same thing to that, tighten it to, tight as it'll go. Okay, let's see if it works. Okay, now we're gonna just see if that works. Tighten everything up as tight as I can get it. Then we clip off the extra. Tight as it can go. Yep. All right, now we're gonna see if that works. It's all done. I'm gonna slide it back under the seat where it goes. I could have hardwired this in by just putting them wires to that wire, but I wanna be able to take this loose if I need to. If I have a breakdown and I need that little air compressor, why I would need it, I don't know. But I want it to be able to come out of there and plug it in somewhere else. So, we used uh, four wire ties, and uh, you've seen how we did it, we just snugged them together, and that's how it works. So, and it's still working, as far as I can see. Let's see. Okay, now I'm gonna take you around here and show you my switches. Some of you don't know about them yet, but uh, it's pretty uh, jumbled up mess there go around here oh, okay now then okay we're over here where the switches are now green is for fuel turn on my fuel pump I ain't gonna it's already pumped up pressure so it ain't going anymore uh, that's for my storage tank to pump the fuel from it into my main tank because on my main tank, I don't have a gauge on the storage tank. This one. No gauge. So what I do is I pump the fuel out of the tank into my fuel, main fuel tank, and then I just watch that gauge. So uh, I, if I keep that one full, reading full, and then uh, when I uh, uh, run out of fuel in the storage tank that'll start dropping otherwise it won't I just run this until I get the fuel up to a certain point then shut it off and that's how that works I don't leave it running all the time just to pump fuel in and I'll watch the gauge get up to a little under full and I'll shut it off okay that's how that one works this one here is for my driving lights and I got some lights uh, put underneath here too step lights and such that does that and that is also hooked up to a switch where uh, once I get out shut the key off uh, the lights will just slowly go off I don't have to worry about leaving them on and this one here is the one for air blue for air there's my air tank it also lights up these little lights right here and there because that one is my air uh, bags pressure and that this these put the air into it and uh, this one puts it into the main tank I have this one puts it into the airbags I have you've seen that in other videos and this is for the air tank I just took a an old uh, skinny little uh, air tank that uh, the air compressor didn't work no more took it off mounted it underneath here so I can fill it up with air and have extra air with me if I want and so I could also pump this air into there if I need be so that's what that's all about uh, so now we got that fixed and uh, that's your little short for the day I don't know how short that was but that's it